guys, it's Laura. I'm so glad you're here. Today's workout is PHA training, peripheral heart action training. We'll be alternating between lower body exercises and upper body exercises, which will increase our calorie burn, improving your cardiovascular endurance as well as muscle endurance. You will need light, medium, and heavy dumbbells. I'm using from eight to 30 and a bench, workout bench, a step, or if you don't have that available, you can just use the floor. I'll be showing modifications throughout the workout for exercises. So get ready, grab your water ball and towel, and let's get started. All right, so feet about hip width apart and just give me a little twist side to side. Let your heels come up. Ugh. Just warming up through the core, through the low back. Oh, that feels good. Now reach a little further. Start to turn your hips a little more. And then reach down, reach up. Now you don't have to turn your eyes if that makes you dizzy. You can keep looking straight ahead. Good, two more. Now bring it center and take the hands together. Now you can keep them closer if that's too much too soon. Four. One more. Now reach down, reach up. You're the other way. So you're not static here with the lower body. Two more. Okay, let's center up. Give me a slow squat. Reach forward, come up. So when you're choosing your weights for your exercises, we'll be doing about 12 to 15 reps, no more than that, depending on your speed. Let's go a little faster. So it's a good opportunity to go a little bit heavier on your weight selection. One more. Hands on your thighs, round release your back. Good, really round your spine, curl those hips under. You got four left. That should feel good. One more. Now stay down and take the elbow away. So lean away. Feel that down your side. Good. Two more. Last one. Now roll it up. One leg forward. Shift that hip back. Back and up. Warming up through the hamstring. That same leg, take it back and give me a leg swing. Just releasing that hamstring. You're also warming up through the hip flexor. Three, two, circle that knee out. Same leg, up and around. Nice big circle. Take it across your body and out. Good, one more. Okay, take the other leg, hinge back. Keep the chest lifted, shift back. Got two more. Last one. Okay, step that foot back, give me that leg swing. Release that hamstring. Doesn't have to go high if that doesn't feel right for you yet. Okay, last three, then we got that circle. One more. Okay, get your balance, big circle around, up, up. Last three. One more, center up. All right, take the arms out like a V and then down, more like an X. Let's see how many letters of the alphabet we can get today. Open up. So get those arms behind you. Now you can add a little more of a spinal extension if that feels okay for you, okay? Two more. Last one. Okay, tap forward and just open up. Thumbs back. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Good, two more. All right, reach the arms up. Again, trying to get those arms behind you. We're trying to get the back side of the body. Last four. Two more. 
Now, narrow squat, down and up. So make sure you're not rounding your spine. You're sitting back. Depth is not going to be as great here with the narrower stance. Now come down, stay. Reach overhead, come up. Down, reach overhead. If that is too much, you just go to wherever you can. Okay, one more. Stand up, up on the toes, up and down. Kind of rocking through that foot. Last four. Last one. Okay, so our first exercise is side to side squat. Okay, we're gonna do, we have three blocks, six exercises, lower, upper, lower, upper. Okay, we'll repeat each block twice, but there's a little core segment in between each one. Okay, so we're gonna start with side to side squat, side to side, okay? So choose, this is probably, you're probably still warming up. So feel free to go a little bit lighter because we got plenty of leg exercises. So we're gonna do about 12 to 15 reps each side, okay? Heart rate's gonna start to climb. Go at your own pace. Okay, ready? Doesn't matter which way you go. Step out, come in. So knees and toes turn out a little bit. You're moving at your own pace. I'm not moving on the beat. Chest lifted, shoulders back. Here's six. For me, <laughs> you could be moving faster. It's eight. Keep that weight high. That's twelve. Okay, one more each way. All right, we have a bench press. So I'm gonna do 20 pounds. So I'm gonna lay on my bench. Of course, you could lay on the floor. I'm gonna do a floor press. Go ahead and lay back. Tuck those shoulders underneath you. Arch your back. Down. Up. Number 12 to 15. Moving at your own pace. You're not going super fast on this. We want to get the benefits of the strength as well as the cardio benefits of moving from lower to upper. There's 10 for me. One more. All right, bring yourself up. I'm going to set that down in front because I will repeat this. Actually, I'm going to put it over here. I'm going to use one of these and we have a step up. Now, I have my step way back here. Um, if you would prefer not to step up on something, you can do this, kind of like we just did. But we want to take advantage of that height, okay? Up, down, up. Try not to push off that foot that's on the floor. Try to drive into that front leg. Sit down. It's all about the leg that's on the step. Don't lift that heel. Not going fast. 11, 12, 1 more. Okay, go to the other side. Turn it in and go. Remember, it's about that leg on the step. Try not to push off that foot on the floor.
five. A little hinge forward so you get into that glute. Heart rate should be coming up. There's eight. Keep that weight high. Here's 12. One more. Step off. Overhead shoulder press. Now we're back to upper body. I'm going to 15. Remember 12 to 15 reps. Are you ready? Okay, bring it up. up. Make sure you're not arching the back. Seven, it should feel heavy. Eight. Nine. 10. Twelve. One more. Okay. Alternating lunge. Reverse lunge or forward lunge. Totally your choice. All right. Okay, here we go. Keep the weight over the forward leg. Don't shift with the back leg. That's gonna also make you feel more unstable. Nice big step back. Keep those shoulders back. Drive into that front heel to come up. Your heart rate should be up by now. I'm breathing. I'm sure you can hear me. Okay, two more each leg. One more each leg. Okay, I'm just gonna keep my weights here. Overhead tricep extension, one weight or two. I'm gonna use a 20. This is the last exercise of this block. Seated or standing, your choice. All right, here we go. So because we're moving from lower to upper, the heart has to work harder. Directing blood flow to the muscle group. So it goes to the lower, and then when you switch, it has to go to upper. So that makes it more Challenging for heart rate. Try to go deep so you get that stretch. Three more. Last one. Okay, you get a little break. We got to repeat the block again. We got the side to side squat. So if you feel like you're warmed up and you want to go heavier on any of these, you can. All right? I started with 15, I'm going to do 20. Okay, keep that weight high. Remember, it doesn't matter which way you go. All right, here we go. Out. Here's five for me. I'm only counting one side. <laughs> There's seven. Keep that chest lifted. Here's nine. I feel my heart rate. Here's 12. 
How are you feeling? One more each way. Okay, we got that bench press. I'm gonna do 20. So to the floor or your bench, a bench is gonna be a lot easier to go down and come up. Lay down, tuck those shoulders. Remember your low back isn't pushed down into that step. All right, here we go. So sometimes when you're elevated, it's tempting to go deeper. Just remember, that's going to work deeper into that shoulder. So unless you got really healthy, flexible shoulders, mobile shoulders, I don't recommend that. There's seven. Now I gave you a range of reps in case you're moving faster or slower than me. Or if you want to go heavier. Here's 12. One more. All right, bring that up. Set that out. Come up. How you feel? <laughs> we got the step up. Bring that up. All right, here we go. Remember, you could be stepping out and in. Up. Squat into it. Don't lift the heel that's on the bench. Now you can always start with a lower bench or you can go to a higher bench. Really depends on your leg length and your strength and your mobility. Here's 10. Thirteen. One more. All right. Switch sides. A little mini break. <laughs> All right, here we go. Like a nanosecond. Try not to push off this foot. It gets tempting because this leg starts to fatigue. Sit down. Driving into that heel. Try not to shift away. That's another thing I see often. Okay, two more. Last one. Shoulder press. Going back to my 15. Take breaks anytime you need to, okay? Four, three, two, go. I like to have a foot back just to keep me from arching my back. You are using your core muscles here. So be mindful of that. Eight. Ten. Twelve. Ooh, that burns. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Oh. Lunges. Remember, you can go forward or backward. Ready? Go. Big step back. Shoulders back. So, the mistake I commonly see is a too small a step or going back with the back leg. Too small a step dr drives this knee forward. If this front heel is lifting, that's a good sign that you're not taking a big enough step back. Remember, you can always not use weight or hang on to something for balance if this is a challenge for you stability-wise. That's what's great about a lunge and that's what makes it hard. Okay, I think you got one more. I was trying to count in my head at that speed. 
Okay, lying tricep. And then that's block one is done. We got legs and push muscles. I'm trying to group them. Oh, wait, we did overhead. What am I talking about? You could do lying. I just showed you an option there. I'm so nice. That's an option. It's good to get your arms overhead when you do tricep though, okay? Uh, now you have more than one option. Now for some people, I was actually thinking of showing that because a lot of times, keep going, people don't have the shoulder, they can't get their arms back. They're here and they end up doing this. So if you can't get your arms back, that lying version is a good option. Okay, one more. All right, bring it down. Okay, we've got a core segment. This is a little plank segment. Each little core segment is gonna be, we'll do a plank segment, a standing segment, and then a seated segment, okay? So this is a plank segment. Spread those fingers. Full plank. If you need to modify into a, obviously a modified plank, you can just hold that. Or we're gonna make this a little bit tougher. Walk those feet apart, lift up out of the shoulder. And you're gonna take the knee across, just that side. You could be holding. Or if that's too much, you just hold. Okay, set that back, switch sides, bring it in, go back and forth. Set it back, come down, rest for a second, we're not done. Bring it down to the elbows, tuck your pelvis. Holding there, that's your option here, of course, All right? Now, reach. Now I got my weights in the way. Make sure you're not arching up, okay? Keep that butt down. Last four. Three, two, one. Drop the knees. Bring yourself up, done. All right, we're moving on to the next block. We have a sumo squat. Down slow, up quick, all right? Here's where I'm going to do my 30. Okay, turn it out, knees and toes, same angle. Down, down down, up. So trying to get those hips down. Drive up. That's eight. down, quick up. Can you go a little deeper? You got three more, depending on what speed you're going. One more. Okay, pull over. Hmm. You have an option here, two weights or one weight going back. We're gonna be laying down. I'm gonna do 120. Two weights, it's a little bit harder to stabilize. So if you want that challenge, feel free to take it. So make sure your head is at the end here. Of course, you're gonna be doing this on the floor. All right. And then you're gonna go take your time coming back. 
Range of motion, it really depends on your shoulder mobility. And we wanna keep it slow on this. We don't wanna go quick. Pull, drive those elbows forward. Stop right at the chest. This gets the lats on your way up and a stretch in the chest on the way back. You also get a stretch in the rotator cuff. Now, the, the nice thing about using two weights is you don't have your stronger arm compensating for your weaker. If you have two weights and you're struggling to keep it stable, press those weights into each other. That will help stabilize. You don't have to go as far down as I am. I do these all the time because I love them. But you've got to listen to your shoulders on this. All right, last three. One more. Bring that leg up. That helps you to rock up safely. Okay, next movement is a traveling lateral lunge. You can always do the option of just alternating lateral lunge okay i'm gonna travel so i'm gonna step drag that in pushing down okay depends on the width of your room you might only be able to do two and then i go back all right Ooh, this one's hard i think i'm gonna not use weight okay this one we're gonna do for time because it really depends on the width of your room, how much space you got. So we got about 45 seconds. Uh, use this bent leg, push down in that leg. Other way, well, you do your thing. You might be in a really big room. Just make sure you're balanced on both sides. So by dragging that foot in, you create a little resistance on that inner thigh. One leg bent, one leg straight. Sit back. Almost there. I think I can finish this. In fact, I'm going to. How do you like that? I don't want to be off. <laughs> Okay, so now we have a dead row. You're gonna come down two rows and then you're gonna come up. So, I'm going to, I know I have an RDL after this, so I'm gonna do 20s. And now you know, cause I just told you. Now we're in the pull muscles. Okay, you ready? Hinge. Pull back, stand up. You get a rest for your lower back in between. You're also getting the glutes, a little bit of hamstring in, while you're down there. But think about retracting the shoulder blades. Please don't make it just a bicep curl. Squeeze up. Up. Now, the most common thing I see is not bending the knees and staying really high. Okay, so try to get parallel, as parallel to the floor as you can. So you have to bend those knees. It's easier on the lower back as well. Less stress on the lower back. Pull back. Abs in tight. We got time for two more. One more. Squeeze back. All right, come up. Of course, I got sweat on the end of my nose always. Okay, we got the RDL. Now, wide stance. Okay, hinge. Coming up. Don't just bend. 
hips shift back as you go. So I'm going to hold 130. I like to put my fingers on the numbers. <laughs> I feel like I can dig in there better. Better grip. Okay, shift up. Now remember, it's not about getting as deep as you can. Shift back, keep the shoulders retracted. You also don't wanna look up. Okay, keep that chin the same distance from your chest. A lot of times people will sacrifice their upper back to get deeper. Squeeze up with your glutes, drive down into the heels, flex your quads, shift those hips back. Keep the weight really close to you. Just two more. Last one. All right, set that down. Okay, we have a bicep curl. You're gonna go up, you're gonna turn, you're gonna do a reverse curl on the way down. Mm. I'm going to do 12. Now I know I have the benefit of a weight rack right here. But remember, we got 12 to 15, depending on your speed. All right, turn that grip. Up, turn, down. Small muscle group, you get a little rest. Doesn't require as much blood flow as a big muscle group like legs. That's six for me. Let those arms fully straighten. Here's 11, 12, okay, one more, okay, take it down, nice, okay, we got the sumo squat again, so we're, that's block two, we're going to repeat that, I've got my 30, Right? So this time we're gonna go down quick and up slow. You ready? Shoulders back. Uh, down quick. With control, of course. Nice wide stance. Make sure you've got a wide enough stance. You've got vertical shins at the bottom. Knees and toes need to be on the same angle. They need to match each other. You don't want your knees going front and your toes going out. That's not safe. Up. Down quick. Up. Shoulders back. Working through that upper and mid back, just holding that weight. Three more. One more. Okay, set it down. We got the pullover. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm gonna use two this time, just so you can see. I'm gonna do two 15s. If you always do it one way, it is good to do it in a different way sometimes. Pressing the weights together. Take your time. So because this is harder to stabilize, it can be challenging in a different way. You really gotta pay attention to the shoulder that has less mobility, flexibility, and you've gotta cater to that shoulder. Okay, almost done. Keep your abs engaged. 
you're laying down, but you're still using your abdominals and of course your lower back. Oh. Okay, one more. Bring yourself up. Yeah. Stand up. <laughs> we got that traveling lateral lunge. 45 seconds. Okay, you ready? Okay, here we go. Sit back, press up, drive into that bent leg. Drive up. Make sure you sit back. This leg is gonna be real and try to help you and push off, but try not to, okay? Make it about this leg. That's what makes it tough. So if you feel like you can't get that deep, I would work on getting deeper before you add more resistance to it, which is weight. You're almost there. Okay, I'm just gonna go back and that's gonna be it. Last one. Okay, we got that dead row. Down two rows. I've got my 20s. Shoulders back. Okay, here we go, shift back. Cool. So we're working the back side of the body. I'm sure you feel that. Remember, you can make it a bicep curl, but don't do that, okay? Really pull back with the arms, with those elbows. Squeeze up. Abs in, soft knees, don't drop the chest, don't round, don't cut, put that tension on your lower back. I'm breathing, one more. Okay, up. All right, we have the wide stance RDL. I've got my 30. Don't forget the shift back with the hips, okay? Nice wide stance, shoulders back. Keep those shoulders back, don't drop. Every time you get to the top, reset those shoulders. Drive into those heels. Hips are traveling back every rep. How are you feeling? You got three more. One more. Bicep curl. Flip grip or twist grip. I've heard both of those before. All right, here we go. Up, turn, down. Working the forearm on the way down. It's important to work those smaller muscles. Sometimes we're like, I don't need to work that because we just worry about aesthetics. Remember, they serve a function. Like the muscles on the bottom of your feet might not be something you think about <laughs> unless you have issues like plantar fasciitis. Then it really calls attention to itself, doesn't it? You're stabilizing with the legs and your core. Okay, one more. 
All right, take it down. Nice. Okay, we have a standing core segment. This one's pretty quick. I will go light. You don't have to use weight at all. Here's where I'm going to use my eight. Feet apart, okay? Think about not moving your hips, okay? Stable, bring the arms here. Figure eight, figure eight. Now, shorter lever, my arms closer, easier. Longer lever, harder. Really try to get out to the side. It's not a matter of high, it's a matter of wide, wide. Trying to stabilize with the lower body. Chest falls away, it's not just this, right? Don't just do this. If you're having trouble with the weight, use your arms. Turn your upper body. Upper body's moving, lower body is not. Okay. Come on. A little wider. Four more. Three, two, one. We've got a wood chop. Your right hand on top, left hand on the bottom. Okay. Down. Down. Feet are loose to the floor. Chopping wood. Again, the body's turning with that weight. Control it. One more. Switch your hands. Go the other way. Down. Make sure you've got a good grip on it. We don't want that thing to go flying. You've got a start and end point. Stop. Use your abs as a break. Don't just let the momentum, okay? Put the break on. Four, three, two, one. Nice. Okay, we have one more block. We're only gonna do it once. So we have an incline push-up. Incline push-up with your hands on the step, easiest version. Wall push-up is where we start people that um, are really deconditioned, have never worked out before. So the lower you go in relation to the floor, the harder it gets. So if you're like, I don't need incline, how about decline? If you're that strong, put your toes on the step and your hands on the floor, that's harder. A little more upper chest. Or you can just do a regular push-up, okay? All right, here we go. Now, if you're somewhere in between, you're not quite ready, you can put one knee down. This is what I tell a lot of people in my class. You're not lifting as much body weight. Now, I'm on the end of the step, which makes it a closer grip. Keep that in mind. Then you might feel a little more tricep, okay? You could even drop the knees, press back up. Lots of ways to do it so you can get stronger. Right? My shoulders are toast. Last three, two, one. Oh, okay. Alternating curtsy, we're almost done. I swear. Wait here, switch back. Sometimes called a cross back lunge. I'm gonna hold a 20. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. That front knee and toe line up. Nice big step. You're aiming that moving leg, that knee toward the floor, not the back of the leg you're standing on. So sometimes I see people do this, okay? Aim it for the floor. Remember to always start with no weight first and work on your form and range of motion. And once you got that down, then you start with a lighter weight and work your way up. Progressive overload. If you always stay with the same dumbbell, your body has no reason to get stronger. Remember, you need 
a catalyst for change. How are you? I think this is my last one. Oh, go light. We're almost done. We've got a reverse fly lateral raise. Go light. I'm going to do eight. Okay, you ready? Okay, here we go. Out to the side and then thumbs up. Hips go back. Slight angle forward. You're not swinging. So when you come up here and you're not swinging that, all right? It's a deliberate movement. You're almost done, you're almost done. Okay, last one. Ugh. All right, I did both down. I did an abbreviated segment there. Okay, one dumbbell, this is it. Do I wanna use 15? Mm. I'm gonna use 10. Seat it. Flat feet. Lean back, okay? Come up. If you need to fold it like this, you can. Now think about, do you feel those abs kick in? Abs tight. So don't round as you go down. See how far you can go back. Now switch your hand if you've got two hands on there. I do. My shoulders are toast, I said. Okay, last one. All right. Around. Bring it back. This is it. Last exercise. Bring it around. Turn. Turn. Now, if you want to make that harder, add that lean back. You're turning with that weight. One more. Nice. You made it. Okay, quick stretch over to the side. Press down. Oh. Switch sides. How do you feel? Do you feel worked? Take those hands behind you, release those shoulders, up and or just back. Okay, sit up tall. Use those hands to help you stand up. Okay, come down, release your lower back. And then flatten one more, then you are done. Come up all the way up. Big inhale. Thank you so much for working out with me today. I hope you feel good. Let me know how you did. I'll see you next time. Bye. You did amazing. How do you feel? How do you feel? I'm a little sweaty. <laughs> Make sure you hydrate. Get some protein in. Um, let me know how you did. So say hi in the comments. Let me know what workouts you'd like to see in the future. And if you like my workouts, consider subscribing. We can see more of each other. All right. I'll see you next time. Be kind to yourself. Have a great day.